tensions are once again simmering in West Asia. It started after Yemen's Houthi rebel group conducted a drone attack in Abu Dhabi. The attack set off explosions in fuel trucks near the airport. Three people were killed and six others injured. The UAE immediately pledged retaliation and Saudi Arabia launched retaliatory airstrikes on Yemen. Two Indian nationals have been killed in the attack at the construction site, which had oil tankers. The Indian embassy in Abu Dhabi tweeted that the victims have been identified and officials are in touch with their family members. The UAE's foreign minister condemned the attack and said it would not go unpunished. The United Arab Emirates have also threatened retaliation against Yemen's Houthi rebels. The Saudi-led coalition fighting in Yemen immediately launched airstrikes on Sana'a, the capital of Yemen. The strikes killed about 20 people across the city. But residents say one of the airstrikes killed about 14 people in a single building. The coalition also said that it intercepted eight drones launched towards Saudi Arabia on Monday. This after the Houthi rebels told civilians and foreign firms to stay away from vital installations in the UAE. Abdul Ilha Hajar, the advisor to the president of the Houthi Supreme Political Council in Sana'a, said the military operation in Abu Dhabi was a warning shot, and if the UAE continued its hostility to Yemen, it will not be able in the future to withstand the coming strike. This is the latest news coming through uh, with the Saudi-led coalition fighting in Yemen, who immediately launched airstrikes on Sana'a, the capital of Yemen. Those strikes killing about 20 people across the city. Residents there said that one of these airstrikes had killed about 14 people in a single building. Now, the coalition also said that uh, eight drones that had been launched were intercepted by Saudi Arabia on Monday. Now, this is after the Houthi rebels had told civilians and foreign firms to stay away from these vital installations in the UAE. Abdul Ila Hajar, the advisor to the president of the Houthi Supreme Political Council in Sana'a, said that the military operation in Abu Dhabi was a warning shot. And if the UAE continued its hostility to Yemen, it will not be able in the future to withstand the coming strikes. This, of course, after two Indian nationals were killed in the attack at the construction site, which had oil tankers. Now, the Indian embassy in Abu Dhabi, we know, has tweeted that the victims have been identified and officials are in touch with the family members of those victims. Now, the UAE's foreign minister has condemned the attack and has said that this attack will not go unpunished. The United Arab Emirates have uh, threatened retaliation against Yemen's Houthi rebels. Now, this is the latest on the tensions that are simmering in West Asia. This after Yemen's Houthi rebel group conducted a drone attack in Abu Dhabi. Now, this attack set off explosion in fuel trucks that were near the airport, killing three people and injuring six others. The UAE has pledged retaliation and uh, Saudi Arabia launched retaliatory airstrikes on Yemen. We know that uh, two Indian nationals were killed in the attack at the construction site. And joining us for more on this, live on this broadcast, is Salem Essed, who is a journalist from Dubai. Thank you for being with us on this broadcast. Now, the United Arab Emirates has threatened retaliation against Yemen's Houthi rebels after the suspected drone strikes that killed three people in Abu Dhabi on Monday. What can we expect next from the government there? Uh, well, that's the thing. It's still uncertain. As you said, you know, the, the, uh, these drone attacks took place yesterday, uh, killing three civilians. This is being deemed by the UAE as a terrorist attack, along with uh, supporting allies. 
And uh, as well this morning, you know, the Saudi-led coalition had led airstrikes on military encampments, killing at least 14, according to reports in Sana'a, uh, in fighting the uh, Iranian-backed Houthis. So at this stage, the UAE has said that it will implement a appropriate and uh, necessary response to this as an attack on civilian land. Uh, but that's that's the question at the moment. How are they going to particularly take those steps? That's what the next few days are going to reveal, specifically what takes place on the ground. Right now, Salim, this is the first time that the UAE has been directly targeted by the Houthi rebels. Can you tell us what this, uh, what the motive could be behind this? Well, there have been a lot. Of, there's been a lot of activity already in 2022, uh, since the beginning of January. So there have been Houthi forces that have been pushed back in key provinces from the Saudi co Saudi coalition, and uh, so that was already, you know, uh, making them lose ground. Uh, the, there was also the issue of the hijacked uh, Emirati flag cargo vessel going to Saudi, going to Jizan, uh, which the Houthis have said was engaged in hostile acts, and they claim that it's carrying military weapons, while Saudi Arabia said that it was just carrying medical supplies, and so they seen this as they've seen this possibly as UAE involvement, and it seems like this is a message, you know, to the UAE to to not get involved with activities on the ground, uh, you know, given that the UAE had uh, stopped its military presence officially in 2019. And this is definitely seen as a clear message as, you know, we have the capability to reach uh, the UAE and, you know, with, with drone strikes at a further distance than is the usual uh, mode of attack, you know, to Saudi Arabia, uh, you know, using this technology. So it seems like this has been their motivation so far. Right. Uh, now we know that international condemnation has been pouring in thick and fast. The U.S. has vowed to hold the Houthi rebels accountable for the attack in the UAE. Yet the Houthis have issued statements threatening more such attacks on these vital installations. That's correct. You've had you know, support from the U.S., Jordan, France, Bahrain and other countries I, uh, stating that, you know, condemning this attack and stating that uh, this is something that should be de-escalated and stopped. Um, you know, the UN highlighted that this is an attack on civilians, which saw three people at the Abu Dhabi ports killed, you know, including uh, two Indian nationals, and this is against international law. So it seems like, again, like I was saying before, that the next few days are really going to be indicative of where this is going to go. And um, again, like there were the attacks this morning, it seems that it has already escalated in the short term, but uh, we have yet to see how that's going to play moving forward. Salim, thank you very much for joining us for all the latest coming to us there from Dubai. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.